Today on The Garage Engineer, we try to get this old generator running. So the history of this generator is I got it at a uh, scrapyard and uh, I, they must have just put it out because uh, it didn't look like it, it was wet or rusted or anything. It had been rained on. Um, it is a 1970s Sears 1500 watt power supply and here is the alternator data it's 1500 watts single phase 60 hertz 115 volts and 13 amps I don't know how well that's coming in at 3600 rpm made by the Sears Roebuck and Company now what I do notice is that the gas tank is uh, plastic and that's been added on. The uh, There's a shutoff valve they added. The fuel lines are rock hard so we're going to change those out. Not sure what this is. I don't know if this is just the mount for the, uh, the old gas tank or if that's covering something else. What I like about this is pretty cool that it has springs for feet. To kind of take some of the vibration off. I thought that was pretty ingenious back then. Here's another tag. Let's see what this tag is. This must be the motor tag. And the label's pretty much gone. It's got some markings on it. But I don't see a company name on there. Let's turn it around here. Oh, it's heavy. When I was at the scrapyard, I did check. It did have oil. And it looked pretty good. So, And it had a little bit of compression. I can't do it one-handed, but it has a little bit. So we'll have to see if it's enough to get it going. And the spark plug. It's a champion, that's pretty good. And there's your outlets right there. So, uh, yeah, both of these, there's the oil fill plug and the muffler. So, we'll, we'll get, let's get you back on the stand and I guess we'll check for spark first. All right, we'll put you there. Turn off the light there and see if we can see. Let's see if we can hold on to it. We're getting spark. Let's see if we can get you a little closer. It's getting really good spark. So that's a good thing. So I guess we'll put some uh, fuel down the cylinder. And we'll give it a little uh, test to see if, it'll, if it will go. There you go, just a little bit. Let's see. We'll close the choke here and give that a try. I'm just using two cycle oil for right now, or a two cycle mix. Shouldn't hurt it. We're just just get lubed up a little bit. All right. Well, that's a good sign. So we know that uh, spark plug works, and the uh, it does fire. Just don't know if the generator is working. Let's see if we can get a light and connect it to see if it will turn the light on. So we plugged in our light here. Let's add a little bit more fuel. There we go. Let's 
give her a tug to see if she starts here. No light. So we know that the motor is probably semi good. We just don't know about this the alternator part of it. Let's give it another shot here. Change plugs. Let's see if So that might be the reason why it was junked, is the alternator is no good. So we know the motor will fire off. Uh, we don't know about the alternator. So I think let's work on the motor and get it running. That way, uh, once it's running steady, we can uh, more accurately diagnose the alternator and see what's wrong with it. So I took off the fuel line. I added uh, just a clear hose. We got fuel up to about right here. Um, and I don't see any leaks right now. I do want to purge the carburetor. It has a little purge button on the bottom. And you can smell the old fuel. But it kind of stinks. But uh, let's give it a try here. We'll leave the choke open. Try to ch choke closed. We ran out of gas, so the motor runs, so I mean, uh, we probably can clean up the carb, uh, but that was pretty much an easy diagnosis. Uh, so I guess the next thing is we need to get this hooked back up to the gas tank so it can run for a longer time and we can check the alternator. So we come down here to the uh, carburetor, we're just going to see what the float and everything looks like draining all the fuel I guess I should have got a cup there you go and I think the o-ring just disintegrated Let's see if there's any more in the bowl oh it just stuck all right the o-ring's not too bad there There's a little bit of trash. I don't know if you can see in the bottom. Let's see here. There you go. See a little bit of trash right there. But it looks pretty clean. Looks like there's a little bit of weird oil in there. So we will. Everything looks all right. Where'd the jet go? It looks pretty. It looks like it's been cleaned. So we'll go, go ahead and put it back as is. We'll just clean the bowl up, and we'll fill up the gas tank. So although someone's changed the original tank out, they did put a plastic one, which I kind of like because it doesn't rust. Uh, I went ahead and took it off, cleaned it up. We repaired, replaced one of the hoses uh, that went under the gas tank that was too small for it. Someone, I think it was like an eighth inch line, a little smaller than that. Um, so I put a quarter inch on there. Now we'll fill this up a little bit, check for leaks. And we'll give it a try. Let me go open the door first. Okay, we're set up. I'll turn the fuel on. Let's check for leaks at our in our carb. 
Yep, it's getting fuel. Just they, it's got a nice little uh, drain button on there, so it's getting fuel. We'll give it half choke. Let's try it. Give it full choke. That was open, I'm sorry. Full choke here. We saw the muffler was getting red hot. I'm not sure if that was a spark arrest, if that's clogged, or if that's what it's supposed to be doing. Um, it started losing fuel. I'm not sure now if I just ran out of fuel here or if uh, there needs to be some adjustment. But I think we got pretty lucky that it, it's pretty much running. And maybe the, fuel, the, the car might be a little dirty and it could be taken apart and cleaned. But for right now, uh, let's see if we can get this running, uh, get it more dialed in so that uh, we can keep it running while we're, we're adjusting the uh, alternator. Well, we just had an interesting turn of events. After I turned the camera off, I wanted, uh, I was working on the motor. I was turning it on because I wanted to make some adjustments to it because it wasn't, didn't sound like it was regulating very well. And uh, just letting it run for about 10 seconds. Uh, it started to produce a little bit more white smoke and uh, then I heard a clink 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 bang and it just completely died. So this turns from a can we save it video to why did we blow up the engine video. If you have any uh, comments of what I could have done differently to not to get to this point of blowing it up, I'd love to hear it. Uh, but I guess from this point on we'll just have to figure out how we can uh, separate it to get to the uh, um, the arm to see I don't know if the the cam broke or the arm broke or we'll just have to see uh, what uh, what exploded inside but if anything we got a few good parts for 15 bucks so uh, there's a bright side to all this so the first item of business is we need to drain the oil out of the uh, crankcase here I've just got an oil pan on the floor and we'll open the drain plug here. I mean the oil was a little dirty but it wasn't that bad and we had plenty of it in there. So it wasn't because of the lack of oil. Alright, let's see here. <clears throat> um, so here's where the case splits. I guess we want to try to separate this. I'd rather not have to take the alternator off. wonder if we can just take the, 
take the bolts off if we got enough room and we just take the bolts off here and just crack the whole entire thing. I probably will put a well it's got spring yeah. I think that's what we'll do. This is a three eighths. I hated it that it blew up. It seemed like a pretty decent motor. But that's what you get. Getting stuff from the scrapyard. You never know what, what's gonna come out of it. Got its original paint. This yellow paint, they just sprayed everything uh, coming from the factory. So everything still doesn't look like it'd been opened. Because everything still has its original paint on it. Even the fuel line had paint on it. Alright, so I'm going to crack this and uh, I'll bring you back. I flipped around the generator and uh, we're on the, the gas tank side of it. And I always wondered, there's this metal plate here and it had a black gasket material on it. Uh, and I didn't really know what it was for. And I, so I took it off. I thought it was the access port for some reason. I don't know why. And it had, so the gasket, it's covering, it's plugging a hole. So I thought it was just the access port. But it looks like this had already blown once and somebody tried to fix it. Maybe that's why there's red sealant around gasket material here so it was taken apart and someone tried to do a patch and um, it just blew again. I was surprised that their patch worked but whatever they did wasn't good enough. So you can see right here is dirty so it's not new and it wasn't me or at least I didn't cause it someone must have put bolts on the other side I guess we'll see it better when we get in in there but it it's, it's exploded before um, it's got this rubber gasket material stuff here and I don't know if that's JB weld or some type of welding I don't know if I made it worse but yeah there's a big old chunk missing out of here um, from before so it probably wasn't good in the first place but it that didn't hold that wasn't gonna hold uh, from what they did repaired so let me continue to see if I can get this thing open and uh, we'll take a look on the inside to see kind of what they did as I was trying to separate the motor to the alternator I realized that uh, the shaft goes all the way through so I'm probably gonna have to take the alternator apart anyway so uh, I'm just wanted to show that that's what I'm doing right now is I've got to go back to take all this apart Okay, I think I got all the screws from around the alternator here. It's starting to give way. I figured this was slip right. Oh, there you go. Oh. Well, that's part of the issue there. Got that off. Let me reposition you here. So we're going to be using our new pry bar, or new to me at least. You can see a video of how we replaced the handle on this. We, this was one of our state sale finds. And at the same state sale find, we found this dead bull hammer. So it's going to come in good handy. And this is the reason why I got this uh, pry bar here. So what we're going to do, put some pressure on it. Give it a little tap.
we might have to take a break. I have to do some research. If you got ideas, let me know. I can see where someone put an X down in here. So it's been taken apart. You see the they were trying to line it up, which is probably a smart thing to do. But that tells me that someone's been in here, and that's what the uh, repair is. So I just need to figure out how to get that off. I guess it would take a puller, but I don't have any. So I'll, I'll keep going at it, and we'll see what we can do. All right, this is what I want to try. Uh, since we don't have a puller, we're going to make kind of an internal puller. Taking a rod that's smaller than the diameter inside here, uh, and it's going to be shorter. So we'll stick that down inside. So we've got our thin rod in the middle of the shaft. This is the M8 1.0 uh, thread pitch that I'm threading to here. So we're hoping this will push onto the loose uh, rod that's in there by pushing against the drive shaft, which will pop the whole uh, rotor off. But we'll see how it goes. I'm not too confident with these. Uh, threads up here they were very shallow so I don't know how well now we haven't hit yet no nope, the threads are, are are stripped yep so that's not gonna work All right, we're just gonna have to bang it. All right, we got it all the way in there. That'll give us something to hit against. Let's just go back to the old uh, lever and we'll put a little pressure here. Try again. Now I'm going to turn it around 180 degrees. Let's see if we can do it on the other side here. I think I felt something move. There you go. All right. There's your tapered shaft. Wow. Look at that. We're banging our. That was straight. I don't know if you can see. That was straight. Look at that. That took a beating, but we got it. Exciting. All right. Now we might be able to finish here. Should be able to pull this whole thing off. This thing's going to fall apart, isn't it? Well, I guess we're not going to try to put it back together, are we? Well, let's see here. That goes up there. Well, here's the carnage right here. We found it. So, basically, here's a valve that dropped out. So this is where all the damage happened right here is the uh, piston. It's completely just disintegrated. So I, I mean I don't know if there's anything I did. I mean this just completely just took it. It had oil in there. I think it was just, it was bound to go. And then you can look at, someone's already fixed it once. Not there, but uh, let's look on the inside. See, look at that. 
Let's see if we can get you in close there. So you see, someone has been in there and patched it and it had a hole from before. I mean, we probably busted it out again when it exploded, but this was someone had already patched it up. And uh, so it's, it it broken before. We were just lucky enough to get a couple rounds of it uh, to start a couple times. But yeah, that pretty much, you can see the carnage in here. I don't know if we can find another one to fix it or not. I mean, it's, it's pretty much shot. It's too bad though. It seemed like a pretty decent little unit there. So the cam right there, it's galled. Or it's scratched. So I don't know. So the experts out there, you can tell me different what you guys think. If it was me or if it's already on its way out. Or if there's something we could have done. Uh, so pretty much it's trashed uh, unless there's something else we can use it for I think the uh, the carbs still good we'll keep the gas tank spark plug still good I just don't uh, I think we're done here let's see what about the piston itself oh there you can see the the rod yep. there's a shot of the rod right there it just completely snapped I wonder if it's seized. Was that? I don't know. Without taking the top end apart, I don't think we'll do that today. I wonder if it's seized or not. I wonder if I can get something to grab up there in there. Let me put you down and get two hands. So here's the uh, end of the piston. Let's see if I can grab it. Now it moves. It's just not very well lubricated. Maybe it, maybe it jammed it up. Should have lubed it some more. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Maybe, maybe it needed some lubrication or something. No, that's pretty. I think it was just old. No, it's got compression on it, that's why. I don't think it was that bad. Just old. Well, I'd love to hear other people's opinion on here. Well, thanks for coming along on me on this adventure today. Uh, we did get it running. We did blow up a motor. Uh, kind of still trying to figure out exactly why it blew up, but I think it was destined uh, on the way to, to to the grave. I think that's well. That's the reason why I was in the scrap yard and with that, especially with that hole that we found. Um, but I did learn quite a lot. I hope you did too. And it was a fun little adventure. Remember the ABCs of making. Always be creating. Till next time.